God's grace, the greatest gifts that he has to give us, comes to us in the very way in which we were made. We'll start with the most blessed of sacraments. The most blessed sacrament in the tabernacle, our Lord himself. That God takes the material, which is not bad, by the way. God takes the material, everyday matter that we would have in our world, and he sanctifies it. Ordinary bread and wine that presented to the priest, acting in persona Christi capitis, in the very person of Jesus Christ, the head, and the transubstantiation takes place. It's a big word. And it's not as important that we know it, but it's important that we know what takes place. God, body, blood, soul, and divinity here on this altar. All of heaven touches down. The Holy Mass. The saints loved the Holy Mass because they knew the greatest gift they were going to be given in this life was going to be there. St. Augustine said, if God wanted to give us any more in this life, he could not give us any more than right here at the Holy Mass in communion. God gives us himself, all of heaven. And when I say all of heaven, I'm not just kind of exaggerating here. The Holy Mass, read what the saints have said about it. All of heaven is here. Mary, Joseph, all of the angels, all of the saints. It is heaven on earth. Every Holy Mass is heaven on earth. Because all of heaven touches down right here. If you are bored in Mass, you are going to be bored in heaven. If you are bored at Mass, you're going to be bored in heaven. Mass isn't boring. We're boring. Because we fail to understand, or at least to try and grasp, what's actually happening, what's actually taking place. We're never going to understand it fully. But to know what it is that God has given us here, every time we walk into a holy Mass, the greatest of gifts that he could give right here, 